Welcome to this video on navigating the interface in Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial we will cover the different elements of the Excel interface and how to use them to make your work more efficient. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. Let's start by taking a look at Excel interface. When you first open the Excel, you will see a grid of cells arranged in rows and columns. At the top of the screen, you will see the ribbon which contain tabs that group related commands together. I am going to briefly introduce the functions under each ribbon one by one. File type contain the basic options related to the file management such as new, open, save as, print, share, export and close options. The home tab is where you will find most of the related commands such as formatting, cell style and basic functions. The insert tab is where you can insert various type of content into your worksheet such as tables, charts and pictures. The page layout tab contains all the options that allow you to arrange your document pages just the way you want them. You can set margins, apply themes, control page orientation and size and add sections, line breaks, display the line numbers. The formula tab is where you can access advanced functions and formulas auditing tools. Data tab in Microsoft Excel is used for importing data from external sources, generating and refreshing data connections, sort and filtering data and many other data management tools. Review tab in Microsoft Excel is used for checking spelling and grammatical mistakes in the document, write comments, track the data changes and finally the review tab where you can customize how your worksheet is displayed such as zooming in and zooming out. Next let's talk about the quick access toolbar which is located above the ribbon. The quick access toolbar contain frequently used commands that you can access with just one click. By default it contain commands such as save, undo, redo. You can customize the quick access toolbar by adding or removing commands that you use frequently. Now let's move on to the formula bar and name box which are located above the worksheet. The formula bar displays the content of the active cell including the formulas or any data that you have entered. You can use the formula bar to edit the content of the active cells. The name box displays the name of the active cell which is very helpful if you are dealing with the complex worksheets. Finally let's talk about the status bar which is located below the worksheet. The status bar contains the information about the worksheet. You can customize the information displayed on the status bar by right clicking it and selecting the options that you want. That's it for this tutorial on navigating the interface in Microsoft Excel. We have covered different elements of the Excel interface including ribbons, quick access toolbar, formula bar and name box as well as the status bar. With this knowledge you can now work more efficiently and effectively with Excel. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other Excel tutorials as well. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe our channel for more Excel tutorials.